Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Series 7 Guru getting my kicks on Route 66 uh, with another explication request. If you have an explication request, you can send it to explication request at guruexamprep.com. Uh, here's today's uh, request. A customer wrote 1XYZ, September 45 put at 6. So that's an obligation to buy the stock at 45. And for agreeing to be a potential victim, I collected six there. And one XYZ, September 35 call at six. Uh, contract specifications there is I have an obligation to sell at 35. And for that, I collected six. When the stock was at 40, who cares? It doesn't matter where the stock's at when we do the trade. It matters where the stock's at when it's all said and done. Before expiration of XYZ is at 43, and the customer closed closed her positions at intrinsic value the customer has. I always tell test takers that uh, the two components of the premium, intrinsic value and time value, intrinsic value is more important because they do use that phraseology on the class, uh, in on the test like they do here, right? You close out at intrinsic value. And if you don't know what intrinsic value is, you won't know what to plug in for the closeout. All right, well, the first key is always to fire up the T, right? We're going to fire up the T so we can track money in and out. So a customer wrote one XYZ, September 45, put it six, and uh, sold a 35, call it six. So this was not an opening purchase or a closing purchase. This was an opening sale. You know, that's a very important answer set. Opening sales are what you use to establish or add to a short position. So we did an opening sale here at six for the call and six for the put. I call this the initial setup. And as a test taker, I probably would have done this as soon as I read the first sentence. I would have fired up my T. I would have uh, put these monies in here. Uh, I personally don't like to put the zeros in here. You could put 600. I like to do it on a point per share basis. And then when I'm all done, you know, figure out how many contracts there are. That way I only have to do the multiplication once rather than continue to do that through the question. All right. It says before expiration, XYZ, it's at 43. I call these time clock questions. Time clock questions are where they tell you you did a trade. They tell you several weeks later. They say at expiration. So I call them time clock questions. So before expiration, XYZ is 43, and you close it out at intrinsic value. So we should know the closeout here is going to be doing a closing purchase because that's how we eliminate or reduce a short position, right? So that's the key, the close. So it's closing purchase. So it's going to be dollars out at the intrinsic value. I personally like to put the market price either above or below my strike when determining intrinsic value. And the memory aid device we use all the time is call up and put down, right? So I'm going to boo 43. The market price 43 is down from the strike price. So that put has two points of intrinsic value. So there's our two points there. Boom, plug that in. Put down. If the market price is down from the strike price, the put contract has intrinsic value. I like to put the uh, market price either above or below my strike. And so here I'm putting the 43 above 35. Call up. Calls have intrinsic value when the market price is up from the strike price. And so that's going to be eight points. So now I'm ready to do, uh, just net out the columns. I say ultimately I'm a winner. I'm a winner because I have 12 points in. I got 10 points out. So I got more money in than out. I got a two-point gain on one contract. That's $200, right? Two points on a contract times 100. So that's where that $200 is coming from. Uh, and that is the answer to the question. So this, by the way, is a straddle with different strike prices. This is called a combination. And here we were selling the volatility. And so good news for us, we sold uh, 12 points in uh, volatility and we we're able to close it out for 10. So ultimately, uh, we're a winner. All right. Hope you found that helpful. Again, remember inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. I'll see you for the next explication request.